This is your anti-fiat update for the week ending 13th of November for gold, silver and Bitcoin. So let's dive on in. I'm Miles Harris and this channel provides global macro insights and champions the importance of sound money in a world gone crazy. So please do consider subscribing. Later in the video, we'll look at a fabulous chart from Nick Laird foretelling future gold silver ratios. But let's start by having a look at the gold and silver price. Well, the week started so well for gold and silver, both looking as though they had reached crucial levels to determine a full breakout with gold at 1965 and silver at $26. But no sooner than this happened, the news was uh, released regarding Pfizer's vaccine. A massive rotation of assets took place, shifting allocations towards retail stocks and even the fragile European banking stocks and away from metals. Consequently, we saw gold's worst day in around seven years. But the yellow metal maintained support at 1850, and the remainder of the week saw prices uh, consolidate above this level. But the Pfizer CEO took this a prime opportunity to unload his company's stock. What a farce. As for the wider macro drivers, the Fed has seen their balance sheet achieve a modest gain, while the US dollar strengthened slightly on the week after a dire previous week. Of course, deficits and debts globally continue to rise. Meanwhile, WTI oil responded positively to the vaccine development and the prospects of renewed global travel. And a sell-off of treasuries was underway as markets took a firmly risk-off approach. Now, the gold chart illustrates just how the attempted breakout failed dramatically, but it also confirms to us how important the support level at 1850 really is. I'm really targeting gold to break into this purple shaded box later this month and into December. Getting back above 1900 would set up another challenge at that 1965 level. But of course, the support at 1850 must continue to hold to provide the foundation for such a move. Meanwhile, silver appears to have decent support around 2350, which was uh, retested after the vaccine news, after silver had flirted with that $26 resistance level. Later this month and into December, I expect to see silver have another go at breaking out of this actual boundary. Onto the gold silver ratio, and the major resistance here appears uh, around 75 short term. But with the ECB set to confirm their stimulus plans next month, I think there is a decent chance of, of testing this area here. And so these developments this week have really encouraged the markets to go risk off. And we've seen a sell off of longer term treasuries and the utility sector, the most bond like stocks. This has seen the SPX uh, index attain further gains. Bitcoin has continued to make further gains and has broken through $16,000 now. The chart is now further extended above the exponential moving averages. So I'd personally like to see some consolidation here. But the momentum that now is gathering appears highly significant. Furthermore, the historic gains for Bitcoin going into December have tended to be quite strong. So I, I really wouldn't be surprised if the market continues to extend before some serious profit taking occurs. But I think the key factors that have driven these price gains include the uh, micro strategy effect as the firm decided to hold $425 million of Bitcoin on their balance sheet, which was further enhanced with Square following up this call. Secondly, the sensitivity of Bitcoin's currency debasement coupled with its comparatively small market size uh, has also helped to actually secure real gains. Third, the range of hedge fund managers who are now also declaring their holdings uh, has also added to momentum. While metals are lagging right now, I'm sure they will soon have their moment. And that brings us on nicely to this excellent chart for telling the gold-silver ratio uh, by Nick Laird of Gold Charts R Us. On the left-hand side, we have the gold price denoted in yellow and the silver price on the right-hand side highlighted in the grey line. The gold-silver ratio is in red initially before a rise in gold price causes a shift in the GSR and thereafter you can determine the silver price corresponding to that of gold using the key in the top left. 
Uh, so with a gold price of $4,000 say, we can see silver prices vary between 50 and around $250 depending upon the prevailing GSR. And so in rounding all of this up, while metal prices have had a disappointing week for those with long time horizons, nothing has fundamentally changed in the macroeconomic sphere. And we'll look ahead to 2021 into tomorrow's in tomorrow's video. But patience will always remain key. Now, thanks so much for joining me. Look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye bye.